Good morning. So here's the thing. I have been just like full speed ahead, nonstop. I need to get my life in check because I, like I've been on so many trips in the past few months that like I haven't even been able to like do, like focus on anything. I haven't cleaned my room like since before Coachella. Like, cause I got back from Coachella. Did I already put two scoops in here? I only do, wait, oh my, see, look, I'm a mess. I've been eating like shit because I haven't been home. And so like, not that I cook my own food at home, but I at least have like options. And whenever I'm like not at home, I'm just like, I'll eat whatever. And I'm not gonna lie. I've probably drank more in the past two months than I have in the past year and a half. So I've just been feeling like really like, oh, I just been feeling like so shitty recently. That's why I'm documenting this. So that I can make myself feel better and actually do it. And obviously I'm so grateful that I get to travel so much, but it's just a lot and like having to go, go, go. I have like two or three weeks before I have to leave again. So hopefully we can get some sort of self-care done before then. And not the kind of self-care that's like, let's do a face mask and fucking do some whitening strips. Like, no, bro. Also, yes, I prefer my bananas to be green. So shut up about it. My room needs like a massive deep clean. So I'm not gonna lie to myself and say I'm gonna get it done today, but we are gonna start. We'll just see how it goes. Breakfast is served. Okay, so this is the current status of my room. I'm tripping over stuff. I think today's goal is just gonna be to get everything off of my bed, but also not just throw it on the floor. Let me rephrase that. To put away everything that's on my bed. I saw this TikTok the other day of this girl and she was like, if you wanna make sure you put away your laundry, just put it on your bed after you take it out of the dryer and like it'll force you to fold it and put it away. Uh, I don't remember the last time I didn't sleep next to laundry. Something else that I need to do is wash my comforter. I haven't washed my, I wash my sheets mm, less often than I should, but I wash them. But my comforter does not get washed very often. It's like, it's so big. And so it takes like so long. It's like so, oh my God. But we're going to get all of this shit off my bed right now. Cue the time lapse. <laughs> so bad these are just blankets but i think now i'm gonna wash my comforter so i don't feel right making my bed unless i clean it just covered in spray tan nice definitely need to do something about these boxes and also these dead flowers well i guess we'll just take them now i'm not doing anything else i love these roses i've had them for like a year um but they're they're just taking up too much space i don't have room for them anymore I'll be right back. Next on the agenda is to fix my tan. This is really gross, but for like, since I've been gone, I just been like layering it on. Like if it gets splotchy, I just put another layer on. So I'm feeling the need to just scrub my skin off. I also have a really bad habit of only tanning the parts that are gonna like show in my outfit. Cause like I'm always in a rush. So if I know I'm gonna be wearing like a long sleeve dress where my legs are gonna show, then I'll just tan my legs, but then it gets uneven. And then like, when I want to wear shorts and a tank top, then I'm like, well, fucking damn it. Now I have to, I, there's I, honestly, I can't do anything. There's no fixing it. I just look crazy. Anyways, I always dread like scrubbing my tan off and starting over cause it takes so long. But I saw this girl on TikTok and she said to get my hair right now. She said to get these on Amazon. Well, type it if you want them. Well, actually let me tell you if they work first, but they're exfoliating washcloths she said that these will take your tan off in like one swipe i mean it shouldn't be that hard because I, I by no means have a fresh tan on right now oh damn there's like a lot in here oh 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 you can put your hand in here nice i guess we'll see what happens this is not a joke my life is changed and i don't say that lightly i've been fake tanning for a long for, since i was like 12 for cheer i've never in my life experienced removing a tan like that Holy shit. I genuinely don't think I have ever had all of my tan off of my body until right now. There's bruises on my legs that I can see right now that I did not know existed. Usually I'll scrub with a washcloth and I'll scrub, it takes me like 10 minutes to do one arm and like I'll get done with my whole body. And by that time I'm 
sweating and then I just give up. I was in the shower for like 15 minutes. Usually it takes me an hour. I will definitely be linking these because if you fake tan, you need these in your life. They were $3, I think. Wow, that was an eye opener. Okay, skin is pale as ever. My comforter is clean. Don't look at the rest of my room. We're going to get there. But look, this is my healthy um, snack because I can't go to bed without a snack. I don't know why. I have some bananas and apples and peanut butter. Stranger Things shirt is on. I finished season four. I've already seen some people like critiquing it and like saying like all the like whatever. I have waited way too long for my brain to allow it to be anything less than spectacular. So that's that's my verdict. It's phenomenal. And I'm definitely gonna watch it again. Good morning, guys. So I usually self-tan at night, but then I have to like sleep with the tan on and like it inevitably will get on your sheets. I just washed my fucking comforter. So I'm gonna do it this morning so I can let it sit all day. Okay, I normally use this, Sandra Bay Express Tan. And my only problem with it is that I can't like be in public with it on because <laughs> since it's an Express Tan, it goes on like insanely dark. I always like before events, if I forget to put on self tanner, then I'm just like screwed. Cause I'll put it on and I can only leave it on for like two or three hours. And then it doesn't have time to like fully develop. Anyways, they just sent me this one. This is the mousse. I just put this shit on my legs. It's so good. Hold on. I'm just going to do like an arm for y'all so you can see. Cause like I've been wanting one that I could put on and then go in public. This, okay, just watch. First of all, it smells like the last thing it would be is a self tanner. This is also not an ad, but I wish it was. <laughs> also with the other one, I use kind of a lot and it's really dark. So the application can get a little streaky, but it like once you wash it off, it's fine. Um, but this, like look how smooth this is. That's not, that's my fault. Look how smooth this is, like no streaks. What the fuck? It almost reminds me of like body makeup, like body foundation that like celebrities wear on red carpets. They're supposed to leave this one on for eight hours. So I'm gonna wear it all day and then shower tonight and show y'all if it looks any different. My tan's looking nice. I'm actually really happy with it and I don't smell like fake tan, which is ideal. Right now I'm going to meet my manager at her office. I'm gonna see her office for the first time, I'm so excited. But I brought my packages that I have to take to the post office. And then we're gonna go to this showroom. Hopefully they have some cute stuff. I think they have New Balance there and for summer I've really been wanting a pair just so that I have something to wear other than my Converse and Air Force Ones. Although I do really love the Steve Maddens I've been wearing, those white ones, I'm wearing them right now. Before I broke them in, they were the most uncomfortable things ever. But after I broke them in, they're actually really comfy. This is Rebecca. <laughs> and we're looking at a Ritz here right now. And I told you guys there'd be no balance here. Why don't you like unboxing? <laughs> you would never. Never. <laughs> I know you too well. <gasps> These ones could be, I mean, they're just gray. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, yeah? those are the ones I literally said I wanted. What the hell? Let I me really? try them on. I had a feeling those they're, were gonna yeah, be they're super cute. I had to throw some wild ones in there. Just I don't know <laughs> which ones. Cause I have white sneakers, but these aren't technically white, but I don't have any gray sneakers. What do you think? I like those. Which the ones? The neutral ones. Okay, wow. That was definitely the most intense showroom I've ever been to in my life. I did get a lot of fun stuff to show you guys. Um, and they had a lot of brands there. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no way this is happening right now. You're gonna do this? You're gonna do this right now? Uh uh. That's what I thought. I have terrible road rage. So the girl that I sell my clothes with, website's called Detour. I think this video will definitely be up before my clothes are up because it usually takes her like two weeks to like photograph everything. I'll definitely put the link in the description because there's gonna be a lot of stuff on there. Like I actually need to like, I need to give her like half of my closet. Anyways, my point is that she's coming tomorrow to pick up my stuff. So I'm probably just gonna like go through my closet for the next like six hours. It's currently five o'clock. I was at that showroom for like two hours. But so that's what I'm gonna do probably for the rest of the day because like I really need to like think about the things that I keep. Like I need to be like, do I actually need this? This is the one thing that I need to have zero self-control. Like just get rid of it. Don't even think about it. This is where we're at right now. Starting off strong. I mean, I've been holding on to these pinstripe pants for so long because I always am like, I'm gonna wear them, I'm gonna wear them. But 
at this point, I'm not going to. This? I bought this like six months ago. Never wore it. So as the tag on, I'm probably not gonna wear it. But it's so cute. But I also really don't need it. So this is going in the pile. Pink top. It's so cute. I'm not gonna wear it though, because it's pink. Okay, I just got another brown blazer. So this one, getting rid of. This, okay. This I've had for since I lived in Texas. And every time I find it, I'm like, I'm gonna style it. It's gonna be so cute. I never do. Cute little vest. I have so many white blazers, so I need to get rid of at least one. So green thing. Most funny stuff that it needs to be hung up. I also don't double hang anything. And when I was just in New York staying with Kate, she double hangs everything, which is like so smart, but also like, I feel like isn't a revolutionary idea. Like I should have already been doing that. We are making progress. The girl who's picking up my clothes actually said that she's gonna come tomorrow. Thank God, because I was not done. Yesterday I went to that showroom and I got these vitamins. I don't remember the last time I took a vitamin. So, and I'm probably deficient in quite a few of them. I'm definitely deficient in vitamin D, like 100%. I never leave my house. I guess I'm just gonna take this. It's like a multivitamin, multivitamin for women. But look how cute the bottle is, like, Oh, also my tan turned out really nice. It's like super, super natural. Like it looks like my skin. Oh, they smell good. Like they smell like minty. That's weird. Uh, bottoms up, I guess. Oh, they taste minty too. That's strange. We're back in the car. So much more I can film now that I have this little car set up. Anyways, I'm going to return. You can see they're hanging back there. The dresses that me and Kate wore in Mexico, the black and the white one. A lot of times brands will just like loan you the piece um, to wear. Like my pink Love Shack skirt, Love Shack skirt that I wore during Coachella. They loaned that to me, which is actually really nice because if they had like given it to me, what the fuck would I do with it after Coachella? Like I would not have worn it again and it was massive. Like where would I have put it? I actually prefer that. It's also less wasteful, I feel like. Okay, yesterday I also got um, a bunch of stuff from Daily Harvest. You've probably seen a lot of people use like their smoothie stuff. They didn't know that they made like food. I guess a smoothie is a food, but I didn't know they made like meals. Got this bowl. It doesn't look that appetizing right now, but it has like sweet potatoes, rice, tomato. It's like all natural and it's really good and so easy. Like I put it in the microwave for three minutes and... If I don't DoorDash, I pretty much always have a frozen meal. Like I just have a shit ton of those healthy choice meals. And I'll just make that for dinner if I don't want to DoorDash. Yeah, so anyone else that eats frozen meals often, <laughs> you should try this because it's really good. Guys, holy shit. I just went downstairs to pick up a package. And first of all, it's massive. But I open, look. We're gonna open it together because I'm genuinely so confused. Hannah Harrell. It's literally as big as my bed, what the fuck? Okay. It's shoes. Oh my God. I know what shoes they are. Oh my God. This is my dream pair of shoes. Holy fuck. I'm I'm at a lot I'm at a loss for words. Like, is this a joke? Look at these. Wow. This is insane. Thank you, Givenchy. And more importantly, thank you guys, because this would not be happening if it wasn't for y'all. Should I put them on with what I'm wearing? I hope they fit. Actually, if they don't fit, I will actually cut off my toes or just wear 18 pairs of socks. Dude, uh... <gasps> Holy shit. What is happening? I literally don't need a single other pair of shoes. Okay, I'm at the mall because I need to go to YSL because my bracelet, I got me and Kate matching bracelets for her birthday and it's so cute, but it fucking broke. Like what? It, I mean, it is like really delicate um, and dainty, but whatever, it's annoying. But I haven't been to the mall in a while, actually. I think I'm gonna stop at like Sephora, maybe Zara. Zara is just like really overwhelming. Yeah, so hopefully they can fix this before I have to leave. 
got it. That was actually so easy. They literally just replaced it. Like they were so nice, but he was like, it's a really delicate bracelet. You should probably only wear it if you go to blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, I know. But I also went to Zara. I haven't been there in a long time, so I'll do a little haul for you guys. Okay, Zara haul. I never shop at Zara anymore because I feel bad whenever I wear stuff and then it's like gone. Cause I feel like the inventory at Zara, like it's like new every week. And whenever I buy stuff, I rarely wear it like soon after. So I hate that like I can't like link it for y'all or like tell you where it's from because it's like you can't get it anymore. I was just looking for some basics because I literally wear like the same Brandy Melville tank tops every single day of my life. Um, and I love them, but I just like wanted something different. So I just got this white shirt. It's like short in the front, long in the back. I don't know if I'll like that, but kind of cute. And then I just got this like white bodysuit that I think will be cute. Like a cute alternative to a Brandy Melville tank top. And then these are actually like really fucking cute. They're satin cargo pants. I have black satin cargo pants, but these are so sick. Then the bottom pocket is like ruched, I think is the word. And then I got a pair of black satin pants for the beach because satin is like comfy um, and like flowy, very beachy. So I just got these and they have like these ties on the side. Or actually, I think you're supposed to tie them like in the front, like around your waist. But yeah, so that's all I got. I just made another daily harvest bowl. Yum. My room is actually not too dirty right now. It's like shit on the bed, but I think my biggest request for myself is to leave with a clean room. So I'm leaving in two days. I'm gonna be gone for like three weeks. I, for like the past few times I've left, I have not left with a clean room and every time I get home, it like pisses me off. I think I'm gonna clean my room today, start packing a little bit. Cause like, since I'm gonna be gone for three weeks, I'm gonna have to actually be strategical with my packing and not just like throw a bunch of random shit in a bag. Also, the man at Zara that was checking me out, I walked up to check out and he was like, I know that face anywhere. And I was like, what face? And he was like, you look stressed, babe. And I was like, I mean, like, I am, but is it really that fucking noticeable? Okay, today's task is actually a pretty easy one. You know how most people have a chair that they just, like, throw shit on? Like, dirty clothes or, like, stuff that's, like, halfway dirty? Well, for the past, like, two months, my version of that has been this bag. It's been sitting right there. You take stuff out, and then I put stuff back in. Um, I also do this with suitcases, for example. This suitcase was unpacked. Um, and then I just kept throwing random shit in it. So... Now I have to unpack it again. But we're gonna clean out this bag. And then I also need to do like a shit ton of laundry. I'm really good at not doing laundry until I desperately need something washed. Like if I have no more black shorts left, then like I have to wash black shorts and I can't just wash one pair of black shorts. I also find it funny that in my journey to getting my shit together, getting my life together, whatever you wanna call this, <laughs> I haven't mentioned working out once. <laughs> I was thinking about it yesterday. I was like, the last time I went to the gym was before Coachella. And I think I even said in that video, I was like, maybe this will like get me back like into going to the gym consistently. Nope, wrong, <laughs> didn't happen. I don't even know what half the stuff is. Oh, this is a dress. That's actually kind of cute for summer. Mm-hmm, nice. All right, time for laundry. All right, well, my room is cleaner than it normally is before I leave, so that's nice. But yeah, the next vlog will pick up like pretty much exactly right here. I'm very excited for everywhere that we're going to be going. I'm really fucking excited to see my dog and my birthday's next week. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.